Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Steven Harrell from Tiny House Listings and today we're going to be cooking with solar. I think it was last year I did a video of a product called the Ghost Sun that they had sent me and it's a solar cooker and it uh, cooks in a long glass tube. The only problem with that particular model is that it only works for about one or two people. It's more like a, just a snack type situation but with this right here you can cook for four to six people I believe it is easily. I've already cooked on it a few times. absolutely love it. Uh, so anyways, I'll quit rambling. Let's kind of get into it. All right, real quick, we'll kind of go through everything that this particular setup comes with. It's called the Solivore Sport by a company called, obviously, Solivore. And uh, what it comes with, it comes with two of the granite ware. Well, not all of them do, but the, the particular one I have comes with two of the granite ware uh, pots that you cook with. And they're black, obviously, to collect more heat. Uh, it has the cover, uh, thermometer. And this, this particular uh, part right here is just where everything goes in. And it also has these solar collectors, which help uh, capture even more of the sun's energy, which I'll show you in a second once we get everything uh, going. What we're going to do is we're going to preheat everything while we start slicing and dicing all the ingredients for what we're making today, which I'll show you that in a minute as well. All right, so we'll stick the pots in there, let those start getting warmed up, uh, and then we'll point everything towards the sun. And we'll, I like this handy dandy thermometer. It just kind of gives you an idea of what you got going on as far as the temperature goes. Or, Set these bad boys up. What you have to do is you have to put the top on like this, and then there's four clips that are around the edge. Might be even more. Actually, I think it's six clips. Like this. And this helps keep everything really tight, you know, as far as like making sure no energy, no, I mean no uh, heat leaves. And the whole deal with this whole setup is that you don't want to open it up too much because a lot of the heat escapes. So the main thing is to kind of just like put everything in there. Let it start cooking and just forget it for a couple hours. So then there's these uh, springs on each corner. Just put those. Man, what is that? Oh, put these on each section right here. And all this does is concentrate more heat into the actual chamber where everything's cooking. All right, now let's get into actually preparing the food to put into the pot to cook. I guess I wasn't really thinking about leaving the granite ware outside. I need it in here so I can put everything in there. So today we're making a tasty dish called um, tofu coconut curry. I've actually never made it before, uh, but it looks pretty good. Um, it was actually found on the Solar Boar's website. We'll make it over top of brown rice. So here's all the ingredients. Red bell pepper, peanut butter, Onion, garlic, garam masala, I guess is how you say it, <laughs> tomato paste, curry powder, brown rice, coconut milk, carrots, and of course, tofu. both pots inside of here. Woo, feel the heat in there already. All right, now we're gonna set both pots in here for a couple hours and then we'll check it. Ow, it's hot. And uh, I was thinking about it, this thing reminds me, it's almost like a solar crock pot. Kind of set it and forget it. Like I was saying before that once you take all this stuff off and you put it, or you put it back on and you put the pots in there, you wanna kinda leave it alone because it is a bit of a chore to take the lid off put it back on, snap it off, put everything like that. It's almost like you want to do it maybe once during the cooking process, stir, put it back on, and then finish. And another thing the folks at Solivore were telling me is that in the summer when the sun is really, really high, there's sometimes where this right here can actually make the food inside cook way too quick, so you can actually take this off and let it cook just with the 
top and the container itself. We got a nice sunny day today and it's already, it's been cooking for about five minutes, so already up to about 200. So if you do buy one of these things and you have it preheating while you're cooking the food and then you notice that the temperature goes down once you put the food in, that's because all the heat's being collected uh, and absorbed by the food itself. And then once it comes up to heat, you'll notice the heat, uh, the thermometer will go back up, if that makes sense. We've been cooking for about an hour now. We're maintaining right around 225 degrees. Good temp for cooking slow. All right, this has been cooking for about two and a half hours and you can see it's cloudy now. This yard is full of huge oak trees. Um, but yeah, it took about two and a half hours. I haven't even checked it, so we'll see. It might not be ready yet. But the temperature stayed right at about 225 the entire time, which is perfect for slow cooking. So let's see what we got. Rice. Ah, perfect. Perfectly cooked. And the rest. Ah, look at that. Perfect. Cooked to perfection. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it smells like a Indian restaurant. It smells so good. All right, so there you have it. Perfectly cooked meal. Let's try the first bite. Mm. Very, very good. Per cooked to perfection. I'd like to thank uh, Solivore for sending me this stove. Very nice of you guys for me to share with you guys. And uh, let's see what else. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Bon appetit.